And uh, hi, and welcome back to Rothnar. As we venture through the world of Lord of the Rings, return to Moria. So you can see, um, I kind of did a little home redeco last episode. Uh, so we've got a nice little humble boat. Uh, did a bit of crafting, and well, that's really everything that's happened. Just had a hearty meal, so I'm well fed and good to go. Seems like if you're when you go offline or when you log out, looks like the crafting continues or may continue. I'm probably wrong there, but when I came back, I had all my ironing lots of it crafted. Um, and I don't remember going AFK for that long. So we are now going to go back out to exploring. We're going to head over towards this little uh, kind of like square just down here. Uh, just because there was that item, which um, that statue, which asked me, well, which needed me to get an iron hammer to repair it. So I've now made myself an iron hammer. I needed some stone as well, but I can get some stone when I get in there. Grab all this junk off the floor. It's just through here. Can I repair this one? Can we build this one? So it requires 10 stone. So I'm quickly grab 10 stone and see. I can get stone from this, I believe. Now if I can repair, I can see exactly what it does, or if it does anything at all. Grab some stone. It should drop stone. Not much, but better than nothing. Just need 10. Saying that I just need 10, it's not dropping very much at all. I'm hoping this will be slightly quicker than this. What have I got so far? So I need three more. Two more. One more. There we go. Some wolfy boys. Obviously they won't be able to damage from my shield. Okay, wolves are down. Quiet. I see prey ahead. So I don't know what that is. I can crouch and see if I can get close to it. That is one away. Okay, so I get recipes for repairing this. That's quite interesting. Looks like I've got two recipes just then. Let's dwarf. Okay, it doesn't tell me where the recipe's in there. Uh, dwarf crafting. Okay. Looks like I've got a new crafting recipe, so. Looks like it was an improved axe, so it's quite handy. So I need to make sure I repair as many of those as possible. There is one directly in that corner, or darkly head. So I'll go and repair that in a second. So there's iron up there, but it's also saying on the mini in the map that there is a way through here. There is a way through, and I've got enough stone to repair this one. See what we get. Oh, we've got some iron gloves. It's good to have. it's very good to have. Also get a buff, a hero spirit buff. So 
It's coming through here. I'm getting closer to Jorin's uh, highway as well. Let's see if I can find any ores while walking around. Lots of junk on the floor. Like there is some iron ore just up there for future reference. There's a tunnel just there. Search this over there in a second. Doesn't look like there's anything else here so far. Like the big looks like a big cave just up ahead. Search around here on the left. There's another broken statue there. There's nothing of use around here. And I came from just around there. Right. So the only thing of use in this area was a iron ore. And what is this? This looks, looks like it's of importance, but maybe it's not. Uh, so I'm some missing eight stone to repair this statue. Do I need ten? Yes, I do need ten for this one as well. Kind of like a weird like waterworks here. I'm not sure if there's anything of use around here. I haven't seen any like chests up oh, saying that. I haven't seen any chests and I'll find a chest. Do I just break it open? I do just break it open. So get metal fragments and jade, some coin. And that's it. And upstairs. Nothing. Okay. There's another dwarven statue, so there's two in this area. This is a big, big drum. Here's a big drum, was a big drum. Not anymore. A grist mill, that's interesting. Don't know what you do with a grist mill, I guess. Maybe put some hop, some four hops in there to help brew. This looks like it's a stove. This looks like it's like a specialist kitchen. Maybe I have to come here and do some crafting here later on. Opens chest. Did I get that? No, I didn't get it. Missed it as I jumped off. So those carvings I think I can use um, is upper floor, isn't it? I can put those carvings into the oh, box. I can put those into that weird uh, shrine next to my base. I'm not sure what I get if I hand them all into the shrine, but it's a furnace forge. I'm guessing this is just a, a location where you can just rebuild your base or move your base to it. It's, it's like a little settlement. Yeah, loads of wood scraps here. Yeah, there's a smithy, yeah, you'll definitely be able to just relocate here. So there's a bit of iron in that wall. Okay, it's pretty cool. This is everything you need. 
They're mining into this, so I need 20 stone. I may as well get some stone. I'll start singing while I'm doing this. Now swing her strong and wail her song all over all till days and where hey when the throat runs dry ale in my hand by the heart ale in my hand by the heart but this is this is another little town which I can come back later uh, I need to get rid of the scraps Like now we build both of these statues, which I'll quickly go do. Once we build these statues, I'll probably run back to the town. I'll run back to my little abode and see what I can craft. Right, so that's the recipe now finished for the iron heel gloves. Some coal. Dredge, looking to see if there's any chests here. It doesn't look like there's any up there. The other one was here. And this should give me the improved packs. I hope. There, yeah, improved. So I've got the iron war axe now. We'll make our way back to town. We'll deposit all of our stuff and we'll probably head towards the. Saying that, I could quickly have a look down here. Looks like there's another statue I can rebuild. There is another statue. Good. Missing seven stone. I'll quickly grab that stone. Probably throw the wooden scraps. I'll just quickly mine this to get the seven stone I need. Yeah. Oh, there's something shining through here. Sun shining through here. I think I'll come back. And that's ten. Let's grab it. Let's rebuild and back to base camp. So that's the full recipe now for the Iron Hills armor. So some of them gave me half the recipe, I think. But that just gave me the full recipe. So there's these two pieces of armor I've got now and a new war axe. Head away back to the little uh, the home I made. Um, Realise the, the, the axe that I unlocked is the same same tier as my sword, so I'm going to keep the sword. I prefer to have a sword than an axe, to be honest. I know I think the sword has a... I should say the axe has a special ability. But, once again, I prefer a sword. Uh, I slept, just eating a hearty meal. And I've now just equipped the gloves and the, um, the chest piece. Which looks pretty cool. Uh, and I'm ready to go back now. Uh, I'm not holding, I'm not carrying the axe anymore, so I don't think, I think the axe is more of a weapon rather than to chop down barricades and whatnot. Um, so what I'm going to just head, uh, do now is essentially head, as the crow flies, towards Joran's Highway to just go straight through. I hope they go straight to Joran's Highway. Um, I could go the long way around where I've already explored, but if I can, if I can make my way straight there, it'll be slightly easier. So it's going to go straight forward. So, 
this as well. I can't hand this in until I find all five carvings. So I've obviously got two. So I've put two of them into my chest. Should you find the other three? I will return the missing figures. Honor them. There we go. So I've already seen a shrine I can rebuild. So I'm just going to grab grab some more stone. Probably should have just left with a bunch of stone just in case. This doesn't take too long, I guess. There you go, rebuilding this one. What did it give me? Okay, it just gave me some coins. Ten coins. Uh, no craft recipes. Wolfie's down. So this is just the really short cave. This one doesn't look like there's anything of value around here. And there's nothing of value. I'm just going to head straight through. Oh, this is... Is it different? Let's go explore the edges of this one first. Well, there's a big coal, mount, coal vein over there. Just jump down. What is this? Oh, okay. If I can actually farm in this, you can build farming plots. There's so nothing of note up here. Let's go around here, see what's up here. There's another very large coal vein up here. Another farming spot. Like that is pretty much it. It's just a little farmer's paradise. I do have a statue I can rebuild. And it says a way through just there. Look, so you can just grab the how many stone do I need? Eight stone I need, and then we'll rebuild that statue. That just gave me some more gold. Looks like I may have tapped out all of the crafting recipes in this area. There is another statue. Same thing again. Let's grab some more stone. Just rebuilt this statue there. Just gave me some more coins. It looks like I've got a load of coins to play with. Just uh, no more crafting recipes. But looks like I found Joran's Highway. Look, it's the highway to the danger zone. See what the ravens got to say to me. These shadow vents are almost as bad as those cursed runes. Evil curses. Evil. Ah. Highway blocked. Ah. Must find another way east. Maybe we can get into the old mines and uh, find a way back onto Durin's highway from there. Ah! Mines are close. Dig through. Find where to dig through. All right. I will find the right spot to dig a shortcut to the mines. 
I will see you soon, friend. Ah, in the mines. Ah. Right, it looks like I need to find a way to the mines. To search for the tunnel that leads out of Westgate and towards the mines. There's no open path to the um, Dwellow Dell from here. The Shadow Curse blocking Joran's Highway. There should be another way to get to the Great Road from the old mines of Moria. Tips Shadow Curse. Shadow Dew leaks from dark places. Contact with it will give a Shadow Curse draining health. So, purple stuff bad. Gotcha. Oh, what's this? So this is a wizard rune. Wizard runes are markings left. A wizard Baku. Bakun. Okay. So looks like I am now travelling elsewhere. So the way I've already been before, so it's just south of there. I think I've already travelled in. Yeah, I think I've already been in this place. Yep, already dug into here. So, double check. I've yeah, definitely been here. This is the big room. Nope, this isn't the big room. It's going to head straight to the mines. No point in dilly dallying. I think I should be relatively geared up. I don't really have the food for it, but I can eat a load of cranberries. I'm going to have to wait for the animation to finish. I think it was, yeah, should be due south from here. And so, move back into this uh, kind of big open cavern that I got to earlier. That I literally walked in and noped from. Um, oh, I didn't see this one here. Just going to quickly rebuild that. Uh, but yeah, just got into this big cavern, um, searched it, nothing of really interest, found another chest, which just gave me some more coins. As I entered this cave and got towards that, uh, the objective, uh, it did say that well, my Rothmar did mention that he can hear running water, and then there was, um, they had no subtitles, but uh, you can hear goblins talking about lava on the other side. Oh, speak of goblins in this shelf here. The river they interrupted my um, my stone gathering. Three more stone. Thank you, Mr. Goblins. Yeah, that's all the stone I needed. Away, it stops. <laughs> Apparently, that drives away the evil in the area. So, 
This would be a good place to build a camp. Would be a good place to build a camp. I could always just run back to my home base. I don't mind that little bit of a journey. Here we go. Is this first? Elven magic. These runes are written by wizard. Yep. The magical elves are strong here. Fine. Here's Gandalf. King's orders by order of King Jorin uh, III. This area is just shut and plenty of exile. So obviously they shut this because of uh, Jorin's bane, the big bad Balrog. But nothing's going to keep me down. Maybe. That's actually pretty, pretty cool. It's quite a beautiful little place. Right, let's chop the trees down. Ooh, what is that? Let's eat before I go take that out. I wonder if there's a little camp I can build up here. It does look like this could be built into a camp. But obviously there's a slight issue of a few orky boys over there. There's a destroyed statue down there as well. Do I have enough stone for that? I don't have enough stone. Few things I need to clear out. Wherever that bear thing is. Ah, I see something ahead. The owl. See whatever this is. It's just a bear. Just a cave bear. So I can block his attacks. I don't do very much damage. But if I hit enough low damage, I should be able to kill him. Okay, he doesn't do loads of damage to me. Probably because I've got all that armor on me. Gotta be close to dying now. I don't want to move him away from the the orc camp that's up those stairs. Oh, I got from that's hide. I'll pick up the hide because I haven't got hide yet. And I need eight stones, so I'm going to quickly um, grab some stone to repair that. So, I've got the stone. Let's see what this has to offer. Got quite a steel hammer. Right, so the materials have gone up a tier. Looks like I'll be able to mine some steel in this area, apparently. So, if that's the case, I'm going to. Head back to the uh, humble abode. That's us back in our humble abode. Um, just dropped off all the resources I had. 
did learn a couple crafting ingredient uh, recipes, which was a meat stew and a roasted fruit, I believe it was. But there are only foods, so there's nothing really of note. Um, and my iron ore is finally all finished. So, a lot of movement. Some attacking some. Oh, not my problem. I can hear something, but not much. So, I'll call it there for this episode. So, we managed to make it into, or we'll start making our way into the mines of Mora itself. Um, I have noticed that I may need some steel, so I think I might be able to find some more ore in this area, which would be interesting. Uh, so, yeah, made quite a good headway. So, you made this far. Thank you much for watching. If you mind leaving a like, subscribe, that'd be awesome. And. We'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and peace out.